the next website is Franklin Pet Food with a lot of adorable pets that we saw. But again, first issue, as soon as you load the website, you have all of these pop-ups, which uh, not not ideal, not ideal for uh, experience. But also, as soon as I authorize cookies, the sign-up form disappears as well, which would drastically de decrease the sign-up uh, rate on the forms. So simple, uh, simple solution to this. The cookie one trigger it automatically because you need it anyway. But then the welcome pop-up trigger it after 30, 40 seconds, a minute, even after they're on the website, because then they actually get to see what products your website offers. And then they might get interested in saying, oh, okay, a discount would be nice because I'm considering purchasing the product. If I don't even know what you're offering, it's very unlikely that I'm going to sign up for a 10% discount on something I don't know if I want or not. One thing I've seen across a few websites uh, that we're analyzing, but also a few of our clients, uh, avoid auto-rotating carousels, especially on mobile. So if on desktop, we can live with them. On mobile, you can see here, I actually did a live uh, recording here of the of the website, you can see how I'm trying to read the, ah, as soon as I click it, it disappears. So you can imagine how frustrating it is for a user to see this and then it just spins like crazy. Uh, just avoid the auto-rotating carousels. You can have carousels, but just have them uh, manually sliding. Even better, don't use carousels and just try to uh, have one hero image. Another rotating carousel on this website is right underneath this uh, hero section that we saw. Is um, I love the USPs and how they're shown. So the selling uh, proposition here, the benefits of the of the product. And just to give you uh, an understanding, it's uh, pet food for cats and dogs, and they're natural and they're without grains, which is great for uh, a lot of the pets. But again, if I'm scrolling through the homepage and I want to understand the products a bit more, I'll miss out on a lot of these benefits because they're scrolling and I won't wait to see all of them. I'll just scroll up and down and whatever I saw first, that's what I will remember. So I recommend just showing them all at once in a, in a static uh, section. Then uh, again, for this uh, homepage, so the idea of, of the website here is that at some point you need to select whether you're looking for a dog or for a cat, so Prussia or Prussia, and then um, you should be taken in the funnel that is relevant for <laughs> what you're trying to get there. But uh, it took me three to four scrolls to reach this section. So the first image is of, a uh, dog, let's say maybe I have a cat, I might automatically think it's not, uh, it's not the right product for me and I'll abandon. So I recommend putting this much higher up in the, maybe even on the hero section on a static banner because users can uh, self-qualify immediately for, uh, for the products they need. Now, the bestsellers section here, it's something that um, I recommend most websites look a bit more into. So most e-commerce stores, uh, you want to have the best sellers featured higher up on the homepage. Again, users scroll through the homepage and they want to see the type of products offered. And then if they see this and think, oh, okay, this is, uh, this is good. And especially if you have one for cats, one for dogs here, it can get them uh, engaged with the sales funnel. This brand also we noticed has a ton of amazing reviews and an impressive uh, number here, over 7,500 reviews, a 4.7 out of five average score. Amazing, it's something that you need to highlight more. So uh, I recommend featuring uh, the, num the average number of reviews and the total number of reviews. Uh, so the average rating and total number of reviews, uh, even in the promotion bar right on top or right underneath the hero section. It should just be a, like a slim bar mentioning it because it helps reduce abandonment quite, uh, quite a lot. It builds trust with the users and then you get to uh, be able to sell <laughs> more to more users. Okay. Now, uh, 
an exciting feature this website has is uh, they have a quiz. So you see on many uh, e-commerce stores, I mean, especially DTC uh, brands, is they will have a quiz that asks you a few questions, try to understand what your needs are, and then so you, they can recommend the best product for you. I uh, started the quiz, and uh, it's actually um, showing this image of this adorable dog. But again, you want to make it super obvious for pet owners that it's for dogs and cats because they won't might not even end up reading this if they don't see something they can relate to in the in the image. And um, then, as soon as I took the the quiz here. I saw that, again, there's an image of a dog and I actually selected a cat. It's a simple, uh, let's say, uh, detail here, but I think it can really uh, make a contribution to the final conversion rate. Uh, what a, um, another interesting fact that I wanted to bring up here, when you're doing quizzes, we've tested quite a lot of uh, quiz formats for uh, for the brands we work with, and it actually helps if you add more questions, because what we've seen is, and especially with pet owners that really care about their pets and they want to give out as much information. So they're sure that the products you recommend are uh, fit for uh, their pet. You know, so don't just ask, do you have a cat or a dog and how much does it weigh? Ask um, about allergies, about ingredients, about, uh, I don't know, any, ailments or anything because the more you again try to keep it balanced so don't go out asking 400 questions but uh, find that sweet spot between not enough questions and too many questions and you'll see actually on an increase in the conversion rate on the final results that you're showing worth testing out for sure one thing I really loved about this website, and because we're not just criticizing here, <laughs> we're also praising uh, the brands for doing uh, a good job with their website. You can see this gamified progress bar. It's amazing for uh, average order value because what it does is, okay, you get free delivery on orders over 49 euros, but then you get the, uh, let's say, premium delivery for over 89 euros. And then you also get a free product over 99 euros. So you don't need to limit uh, this incentivized uh, orders just with the free shipping. You can actually keep going with offering uh, products, samples, anything that can be exciting for the, for the end user. And then another great feature which applies for uh, brands that offer subscriptions even if I added here the one-time purchase product, I can actually um, choose the subscription in the cart. And then I'm saying, uh, I'm showing users that they can get this uh, with a 10% discount or a 20% discount. And then they can choose the frequency and do everything related to the subscription on the cart. Very good user experience. Uh, after you select the subscription, you also get uh, offers for different cross sales. So I think they're doing an amazing job with uh, this section of the website. Something that I recommend uh, others test out as well. And also the cross sales, they're one click, very important. So users don't need to work for it. Now, because of course it's not all uh, <laughs> fun and games. One thing we uh, observed here uh, on the product page let's say there's a one small pack of food and then i need to choose the quantity and i think it's really difficult for users to first of all to see this because it lacks contrast like i can't really see how many i'm getting and what's the the weight here of the product but then also the price is a bit uh, you know i just feel this is not a good experience so i would recommend redesigning it in a way that's a lot easier to read the quantity and the price 